As we have seen throughout class this semester, the media is constantly portraying the mentally ill in a negative manner. Here are some examples of different mental illnesses seen on television or film. Who are you? Her name is Susanna Lisa. She smokes from cigarettes. Why is all your shit on her bed? Huh? Huh? Why? Why? Where's Jamie? You don't know what you're talking about. What the hell are you doing, Lisa? That is not fair. That is not fair. That is not fair. Seventy-four is the perfect weight. He's still out there. And that causes her to descend into profound self-doubt and despair. Are those my new skinny jeans? Don't they make my ass look fine? Sure, fine for 40. Do you know how much it blows being 15 and stuck in this ancient body? I mean, look, I have a muffin top. The misrepresentation of mentally ill characters is also present in literature. Unfortunately, the news can also provide can society with a negative image of mental illness. Adam Lanza would kill so many innocent children, but many point to mental illness as a possible answer. In 2011, of the 50,000 calls that came into Wausau Police, just 650 were mental health related, but of those, almost half resulted in an emergency detention. What we'll do is evaluate to see if they have a mental illness and if currently they're a threat to themselves or others. Celebrities with mental illnesses can sometimes cause this stigma to swell. But where does this start? After thorough research, I have found that the reason that this stigma exists actually stems from the negative depictions of mentally ill characters in children's media. Author Otto F. Wall, professor of psychiatry at Harvard University, points out an interesting consequence of these misrepresentations. He explains that there is a cycle resulting from negative depictions of children's media. For my primary research, I decided to rewatch one of these Disney movies and analyze it myself. I chose Beauty and the Beast because it was mentioned in each of the three articles that I used for my secondary sources. The results were surprising. But behind the fair facade, I'm afraid she's rather odd. Very different from the rest of us. She's nothing like the rest of us. Oh, 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 oh. We'll take good care of him. My father's not crazy? He was raving like a lunatic. We all heard him, didn't we? I was extremely surprised at the amount of evidence I found in Beauty and the Beast that misrepresented the mentally ill. This evidence confirmed Wall's statement that greater attention to children's developing knowledge and attitudes about mental disorders and to the media images that feed them will be necessary if lasting changes in understanding and acceptance of mental illness are to occur. I believe that this cycle can be eliminated only if the media changes the way that mentally ill characters are depicted so that children can develop their views on the mentally ill based on accurate portrayals and experience.